Look at ways you can be authentic and give. If I were to ask you, are you true? You'd say, oh yes, I don't lie. If I were to say to you, do you give? You say, whenever I can. Yes, of course. I give to this charity and I do what I can. But is giving, whether it's your time, or a compliment, or an idea, or a connection, you know, if you were known, because everywhere you went, you said, oh, I know someone you should talk to. I know someone that can help you. I've got something that will help you. Let me give you a compliment. Let me give you an idea. Let me give you a connection. Let me give you. People perceive you in a totally different light. And you'll get meetings that you love and people, great helps and lots of referrals. Do you get referrals? Do you get referrals? Oh yes, we get referrals. How many? Oh, it's quite a lot. How many? Oh, I don't know, well, let's go measure. Go measure. Go measure how many referrals you actually get and then sit back and think, oh, it's not that many. So I say, why? And my clients say, well, I don't know why. And I say, well, are they really happy? Oh, yes, they must be happy. They, why? They don't complain? Now, I know this is simple stuff, but you see, here's where I stand. Your business will grow exponentially if you take it down to the simple things. We could get lost forever in fancy CRM systems, and I love those. We could get lost forever in the science of language, and I can share those thoughts with you. We could talk about the secret and the laws of attraction. And it's all valid. But your business is going to really be a reflection of you and the energy and the relationships that you develop. So when I talk about being authentic and honest and true, I know that you're honest. You'd never lie. But are you honest with yourself? Are you honest when it comes to that meeting? Is it really good for them or are they just actually going to buy it? And you're going to go, well, they bought it. It's not my fault. Have you ever bought something and so afterwards, when it wasn't right, they turned around and said, well, you know, it's not what we said. And how do you feel when they just hide behind small print and contracts? I mean, you know, we're not far from a city of banking people. How much do we love them? <laughs> and why? <laughs> That's human. We were talking earlier, but you know one of the most powerful things at the moment is the demographic shift. We are the power base. The SME, the micro business, we are the biggest section of the population. We are the biggest section of the commercial population. There are more people involved in small business than ever. We've got the power to change. If we stand up and say, yeah, I'm gonna be part of that change. And, and that's with all my heart where I say, come on, Let's unite and be better, but start with me.